the first year of Belshazzar. Belshazzar was a grandson of Nebuchadnezzar. Go sit down in the library and read. The Greeks and the Romans took these records from the Israelites and they named it Bibelos. That's how the name Bible came about. Which means composition, which means a collection of compositions. Whose compositions did they collect? The Israelites. Brothers and sisters, you got to learn a lesson today. And the lesson you got to learn is how difficult it is to do this job. Because it is a hated profession because of how great it is. And because of how quick it could change your life. Y'all see this old robot I got on? This is an old boy right here. Let me let you take a quick look. Can I step out? Can I slide over there? I want y'all to look at this road. All right, you see this road right here? This road comes from my father, man. My mentor. My teacher. Chief Head Priest Ariel. I'm going to tell you the story again if you haven't heard it. I was a young man. Couldn't be no more than about 19. And they loaded me up in the van with Chief Head Priest Ariel. We went down to Brooklyn, man. In Brooklyn, they got an area where the so-called white Jews have a huge synagogue. Thousands of them in the neighborhood. At that time, it was a beef because a lot of the Judites and Benjamites owned the real estate in Brooklyn for years. And these so-called Jews wanted the real estate, they wanted the neighborhood. If you go down there today, they got the neighborhood and every piece of real estate they wanted. They took it all from blacks and Latinos and West Indian. Well, before they were able to take it, we went to Brooklyn. We went to prophesy on that street. And Chief Arya, well, I wish I had a copy of it now. Chief Arya opened up a Life magazine before the world and before them, and it shocked them. He showed them the archaeology that came from Egypt. And he said, how could you be a Jew when the Jews are black? Yes, right. And they got upset. And they called the cops. And they started threatening us. And Ariel stood his ground. He could have went home. He could have packed up the truth. He could have ran, man. But he stood his ground, man. He stood his ground and he told them the truth about who they were and who we were and what they had done. And when the cops came, the cops came up to Ariel and they said, listen, man. We know you got a permit to be out here, but we really wish you would go back up because, see, uh, if you know we leave, we can't guarantee your safety, man. And Ariya said, "We speaking the words of the Lord, and we ain't going nowhere." That's right. That's what he said. And the officer was trying to, you know, be cool. He said, you don't understand. He said, you see that van over there? The van is filled with guys with machine guns. And if we leave out of here, I can't guarantee you what might happen out here. Ariel said, I don't think you heard me. We speak in the words of the Most High, and we ain't going nowhere. He became my father, and I became his son that day. I saw courage in a man, something that I didn't see in the black community, man, in the Latino community, and the Native Indian community. I saw a man that was not afraid to stand up for the truth, no matter who came up against him, man. I saw a man that could persecute, or that could persevere in the work of the Lord. When we got back, he could tell I was young, and unsure about myself. 
I'm looking at him, he eating chicken, like nothing ever happened. I'm looking at him like, you know, <laughs> could have got smoked out there today, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, uh, he said, your yeah, let me tell you something. And this is on tape. Now we looking for the tape now, right or wrong? We looking for the tape now, not at that time, but he said this later on. He told me, he said, he said, Yohanna, don't ever leave the truth. No matter what. He said, even if I leave the truth, don't ever leave the truth of the most high power. And you know he was an excellent teacher. He knew when to say something to you, where it would impact you, where it would become a part of you. I've had this role from him for 40 years. 40 years old. 40 years. He gave me this robe. He said, you honestly see that robe up there? Take that robe. Many men wore this robe. They come in there on the Sabbath service because he kept the robe hung up in the, on the rack in the Sabbath service. The room wasn't about big as here to, that, to that, that pole right there. Those of you that were back there, you know. And he kept it hung up. So when brothers would come in for the Sabbath service to teach, they go get his robe, you know, daddy robe, oh and all, and do the Sabbath service. One day I came in there, right after that incident, he said, Your Honor, put that robe on. He said, That's your robe. I said, Thank you, sir. We believe we lost that great man this last week. And it broke our heart. It breaks our heart to lose any man, less alone men that have persevered in this truth, who have bonded with us in brotherhood, who have stood the test of time and showed themselves approved to bring forth the words of the Most High. We need warriors, man. We don't need warriors to sell drugs and to rape and to murder and to rob. We need warriors to save lives. That's what, That's what we need. We need brothers and sisters who are willing to stand the test of time and bring forth this truth. Ariel was one of them, man. He was an icon in this work. That's right. When he got old, was leaning on the pole, Halfway out of his mind, like we all get to at one time. Less, lesser men, I'm being nice. Lesser men took advantage of that. Lesser men saw opportunity and they pounced on it. Lesser men lost the scripture when Noah finally hit dry land and began to drink wine. From all the pain and suffering of 40 years, 40 days or whatever it was that he was out there on that ocean, he finally sat down and drank that wine and his son came in and saw him half naked and drunk and laughed at him. Laughed in his face. Dishonorable. All right. And Noah got up from that after his two other brothers who had honor back their way in and covered up their father. That's right. Covered him up with honor and respect. And looked upon him and said, you know, we ought not to do that. When he got up from his wine, he cursed that Amite son. I'm here to tell you, I am honored.
you cast it first. In this house, we honor the men that stand and walk and, and love the Most High and stand in this truth, man. We honor them, man. So are y'all, man, get off the stage for I make a fool out of myself. Brothers start thinking I'm soft, crying every time. I'm crying over stuff, a lot. I ain't gonna cry today, y'all ain't catching that on camera. I love this man, man. It's like I love every one of y'all. My whole soul, my whole heart, man. You mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. So I say on the chief, head priest Ariel, I'm called to salute. you for one more time. That's right. I might give you back. I might give Barack. No cowards in our camp, in our camp, then we we'll let their colors fly. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, only men prepared to die. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, then we we'll let their colors fly. Woo! We want no in our camp, in our camp, only men prepared to die. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, that will let their colors fly. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, only men prepared to die. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, that will let their colors fly. In our camp, in our camp, only men prepared to die. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, that will let their colors fly. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, only men prepared to die. Woo! We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp, that will let their colors fly. We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp. Only men prepared to die. You show respect, pay homage. I'm King. one West bread, one West vetted, one West pumping through my blood. Don't forget it. One West in my brain, one West in my heart, one West when I'm finished, one West when I start. I said I've been one West bread, one West vetted, one West pumping through my blood. Don't forget it. One West in my brain, one West in my heart, one West when I'm finished, one West when I start. I'm the hottest on the market. Don't make me start it. I'ma pull up in a Spider Man and be the pocket. I remember days was trapping out the apartment. Now one West.